Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a love reading for Capricorn. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. It is super helpful to my channel, and I really do appreciate it. If you would like to book a personal reading or a love reading, feel free to check that out in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and get a love message from Capricorn's person. All right, so Capricorn, we have, I'm trusting my intuition on our connection. I am living a double life. I've loved you since the day I met you and bottom of the deck, I am releasing a third party for you. All right, interesting. So let's see what we have here for Capricorn. Okay. All right, so Capricorn. Um, the person that uh, you may be connected to here in your love life, um, they are trusting their intuition on this connection. Um, this person may be living some kind of double life, which we'll look into. It's interesting. And then this person has loved you since the day you guys met, okay? This person may be dealing with some type of third party but that they're releasing. So let's just clarify. Let's clarify I'm trusting my intuition on our connection. All right, Seven of Cups. So this person may be someone who has a lot of different options, a lot of different like avenues. Like I could do this, I could do that. I could date this person, I could date that person. This person may be like a little confused on what to do um, with you and with this connection. I feel like this is somebody that you've walked away from in the past here um, with the Eight of Cups. And I also feel like you guys, you know, may have been on a break or mutually kind of like end up walking away from each other. And so this person has felt like guided to come back to you, okay? Um, this person is trusting their intuition. I feel like they've been waiting for a while to reach out to you or to hang out with you or to really address the fact that they really actually want to be with you. And, um, they're going to be doing this. So they're going to be expressing to you how much they love you, how happy they are for you, how much that they are, how much that they are willing to take a leap, a blind leap of faith uh, with a fool in the Ten of Pentacles reverse here, um, tied to the ending with you or an, an ending that they had with you. They felt like they lost the potential person that they are meant to be with, that they're meant to marry, that they're meant to be with long term here. So um, the moon is here. So this person has a lot more to express to you. Um, they're going to be expressing to you how much they are trusting their intuition, how much they have like either prayed or manifested, um, you know, guidance when it comes to you. Um, this person is super happy with you. They see being with you long term. And they're showing up here as a king or queen of swords where they're going to just be telling you this, okay? Um, let's clarify I am living a double life. So that's interesting. The sun. So this person is going to also express to you, there's so many confessions. They're also going to express to you uh, that they may have been living some type of double life. Now, this doesn't have to be super dramatic. Um... Two of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse, and the Four of Wands. So this person is going to be saying when they were with you in the past um, that they may have been really like going through something emotionally and just didn't tell you. Um, this person maybe went through some type of like therapy or something or yeah, they, they were really unhappy. So I feel like when you were dating this person um in the past or with this person in the past they were really actually like super depressed um they had emotional issues they could have been taking that out on you but they're going to be telling you that they have sought help for this or they have become in a more stable place and i feel like you're even going to see that this person is more open to hearing your perspective they're more they're much more at peace so they're going to be telling you that they actually had a lot more going on and they were kind of like playing it off like like they were fine and with whatever issues you guys had that led to the ending or, or break of this relationship Again, they're going to be expressing to you and being determined to express to you that, that they were not in their best 
form at the time, but they never really told you um, because they didn't want to open up to you and let you know how much they were suffering. That's kind of sad. Um, but this person is in a very stable place, especially with their emotions right now. Four of Pentacles, I mean, four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, they're going to be, this person is going to be really opening up to you. Um, next, this person has loved you since the day they met you. So I feel like you met this person while either traveling or while like um, researching something or, ooh, I want to start this. So let me go go to this store, go to this city to look into that. Um, so I feel like you met this person somewhere either either at a distance or while you were learning something um, or while you were at some type of work environment or... Uh, working or when you're with someone else um, and like this person basically was at the same function as you three of pentacles uh, we have the star and the six of wands so when this person met you um, they may have been like treating you like you were like luxurious like so beautiful with the star giving you a lot of attention also they were like you it's like the way you walked into a room you like were so confident and they wanted to have you they wanted to be a part um, of your life okay so um, this person has loved you since the day that they met you and I feel like they're gonna be saying that also feel like this person probably kept their feelings caged in um, and now they're going to be, you're going to be experiencing the side of the person where they are just super expressive. They're super forward with you. And, um, they're going to be telling you how they've actually felt about you this, <laughs> this entire time. Okay. So it's like you're getting closure and you're getting a reconnection from this person in a new type of relationship where they're, they're lowering their guard. They're going to be super freeing and open when it comes to sharing their emotions and being giving to you and not holding themselves back anymore. Um, but yeah, this person has actually loved you since they met you. That is awesome. Bottom of the deck. Um, I'm releasing a third party for you. So you guys may have been on some type of break. Okay. And I feel like this person likes like kind of like again they've been single or they you know you guys haven't been dating so they like to kind of like keep their options around like you know okay if this doesn't work out then I'm gonna talk to this person if that doesn't work out then I'm gonna talk to that person that kind of thing and I feel like they dated someone where um they dated them and they're ready to leave them alone and leave them behind so I feel like if you guys are reconnecting if you're worried about if they're being, <laughs> if they're being like, you know, talking to other people, I feel like that's not the case. They know that they need to be giving all of their time, energy, and effort to you. And again, you'll know this because this person's going to be way more emotional and way more communicative about how they feel and also about their past as well. They'll likely just tell you like, hey, I was dating someone because we weren't together or I was talking to someone and uh, they're showing up, this person showing up as a queen of wands reverse. And they're going to be releasing this person uh, for you in order to make this relationship work. This person wants to put as much time, money, energy, effort into this connection that they have with you. And um, they're not going to, you know, take no for an answer. Okay. So they're going to make sure that they're clear on all, all aspects and all caveats to um, this connection. So that they, so that they don't repeat the past. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get the final outcome as of right now for you guys. But thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I really do appreciate it so much. Let's get the final outcome. What is the final outcome? All right. So we have playfulness, getting to know each other, separation, Calling in your soulmate, unrequited love, religious factors, and then bottom of the deck is make the effort. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so I feel like you guys are going to have like a really good um, time spending time together, um, physically connecting together, hanging, like there's all the passions going to be reignited with this person. Um, you guys are going to this person's going to reveal their innermost self to you. And I feel like you're going to do the same. So you guys are going to be getting to know each other in a different way, especially if in the past, this person's been a little closed off. Um, but then there's separation here. Um, why would there be a separation? Separation. Ace of Pentacles. 
Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is what I, <laughs> this is what I'm getting. I feel like you may feel like, ooh. I don't know. You may feel like a little kind of overthinking about this and you may want to still be single. Um, Nine of Pentacles, because it'd be you that decides like, ooh, you know what? Let me just keep my options open. And Knight of Wands reverse. That's crazy, guys. So this person, I feel like, again, you have history with them. But like, this is a person where you may be like, mm, I like this and all, but like, I'm going to keep my options open. I want to date other people. And I feel like you're going to be fine. You're going to be, if you want to date other people, you're going to be successful in doing that. Like, so this is free will. You may have a new, a new option coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles. And if, no, it's going to be from someone new. That's crazy. It's going to be from someone new uh, or someone different. Likely that you broke up with in the past so a past person could be coming towards you and i feel like you may be taking a leap of faith okay towards this new person yikes Ooh, goodness gracious this is cr okay this is such a plot twist i did not expect this for you guys it's reading okay um so you guys have the chariot and the tower reverse so You may be moving forward from this person, okay? Because again, this is somebody that either you're dating now, and you're on a break from, or you're on a break from, or whatever the case is. What is going on? But the chariot here and the tower reverse, I feel like you want something better. You have another offer that I feel like you're going to hop towards, okay? Um, And this new per, I don't know, guys. There, There's so much going on here. <clears throat> Who's the Knight of Wands reverse? Knight of Wands reverse. The Lovers reverse. Okay. What? Okay. Mmm. Okay. Guys, this is so freaking crazy. So it's such a plot twist. Okay, so this person, you you may choose to break up with this person or you've already broken up with this person or that's coming because you may be kind of like, you may have already, you may be on a break from them right now, but this is a soulmate. I feel, is this a soulmate? Let's see. Is this a soulmate? I pray for yes, reverse right now. Let's see. No, no, it's not. So it seems like the person you've been dating is not necessarily soulmate. They're showing up as a king of wands or no, hold on. Wherever, however, they're showing up here. Okay. Cause I feel like that's what you don't see. So there's somebody else that is your soulmate calling in your soulmate, unrequited love, religious factors. The person that you are currently with, or you just broke up with recently, they want to get back to you with you they're going to be sharing all of these emotions with you all of these things and then what you don't see is they're releasing some type of third party for you so i don't know if you're gonna find out that this person's been communicating with the third party this whole time like what So I feel like this person hasn't been dealing with a third party. However, this person may, you guys may have had some type of issue with them texting a third party, talking to a third party. Um, Because we have the Knight of Swords, Reverse, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the World, and the Five of Wands. So them ending some type of like friendship or just like keeping in touch with a third party um, caused a lot of issues in the relationship, okay, in the past. Or, and even if it's not a third party romantic, it could just be 
somebody that this person was connected to okay however it resonates they've left this person behind i feel like they weren't cheating on you but they they may have been communicating with this person or engaging with this person or talking to this person on social media or you know whatever the case is now for you I feel like you're choosing to be single from this person because of this person's old past tendencies or tendencies to be immature or to live a double life or to not be honest about themselves, okay, or whatever they're going through. You're going to choose, but you have free will. This is just what I'm picking up on. You will likely separate from this person because you're not meant to be with this person, you're calling in your soulmate here because there's unrequited love for some reason and I feel like again you're getting the confirmations and then as soon as you separate from this person because you're thinking about it and then you just decide you know what I'm gonna just be single you have boom ace of pentacles a brand new opportunity from somebody that you're actually meant to be with here um so yeah what you don't see is that this past person is going to kind of like continue to try to be with you continue to try to connect with you that kind of thing um but at the same time i feel like you will likely choose a new person and um connect with a new person yeah i feel like you kind of want to be single from this person but again it'll be up to you what you do so let's just get some advice because that like took the biggest plot twist ever but it kind of, it aligns with the other capricorn love readings i've did like maybe seven days ago or so okay so let's get some advice for capricorn listen to your intuition not the right time the situation will improve and then helpful people at the bottom of the deck um so yeah for your advice here listen to your intuition if your intuition's telling you to not be with this person that is crazy. Look at this. Queen of Cups, very intuitive. The the freaking high priest is in the Ten of Pentacles reverse. This person's not long term for you. They're not like they're they're not supposed to be in your life long term. Two of Cups reverse, a breakup, Ten of Wands. You may have felt like a lot is going on and it's this relationship and being with this person is stressful. Five of Swords reverse. You've seen this already. Five of Wands. You've had a lot of arguments and disagreements with this person. You've pulled back effort. Okay, and then the world, the cycles close, the lovers reverse. Should we keep going? This person is not meant for you. This is somebody who, of course, you can care for them. They love you. They do. They they fell in, they fell in love with you since the second that you guys met here. But at the same time, this is not like um, somebody that you're meant to be with. More so because, like I said, they have a lot of like emotional things going on, and I feel like you're meant. You're, and that's not it because we're not blaming here but there's something where you're meant to be with someone else or meant to do something else if that makes sense and i feel like you walked away from this person for a reason or some breakup happened for a reason so trust your intuition it's not the right time right now to decide to get back with this person if you resonate with this do you know you have free will but it, it would not be a, a wise decision to get back with this person judgment reverse um because again i feel like your intuition no exactly you'd be doing yourself a disservice okay judgment reverse justice reverse you walked away from this person or this connection for a reason and i feel like you're gonna find out the reason okay you're gonna find out this reason and this person will likely tell you but um it's more so because you're meant to do something else um there's some type of manifestation that you've been cooking up that you've been working towards that you've been manifesting praying for and your career and your life and your financial um your financial world like all of these things you've been manifesting and it's again it's not more so about this person's not fit for you whatever it's more so this person's not fit for your long-term goals okay so trust your intuition i feel like right now would not be the right time to make a decision to get back with this person uh it's probably meant to end i feel like a lot of you've already ended this or in the process of ending some type of uh, relationship but the situation will improve like you're gonna be you're gonna be fine because like i said as soon as you release this person it's as soon as you have a something new whether it's a new job whether it's um you know starting something new whether it's a new connection something that is or 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 let's not even make it about love something you've manifested in your career and your life like that's coming towards you okay so it's not even about someone else comes in you know, 
it's more so about what is what makes sense for you what have you been praying for and asking the universe for that's why this is not meant to work bottom of the deck guys you have helpful people so ask your friends for advice i feel like people are going to be giving you really good advice um because you just don't want to make any impulsive decisions um but i do see that you will be moving forward um and just moving forward within your career and then everything else just falls into place but i don't feel like this is the best person for you even though they do seem to obviously care um so much about you and all these things and they're kind of regretting things that happened in the past and things they fell short on and not expressing themselves emotionally but at the same time, again, you have to trust your gut because you're meant to do something more, okay? So feel free to let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button, subscribing. Uh, feel free to book a personal reading. They all have 24-hour delivery. And thank you guys so much for watching.